Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hello everyone. Let's open the worksheet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can find the link to this app in comments below. I am so excited to be back with you again. Today we have this great worksheet and the name of the worksheet is called Sweet Counting. And you can see over here we've got a baker and he's got these sweets. This looks like a fun worksheet. Let's read the directions. It says help the cook number the cakes. Choose the correct numbers that go before and after the number that is shown check the correct answer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you two different ways that we can figure out what the answer is. And I wanna look at this first one here so that you know exactly what we're doing. We've got a number, okay? And we're trying to find out what comes a number comes after this number, and then what number comes before this number. So to me, the easiest way to do this, honestly, is a number line. So over here on the board, I'm gonna write out a number line. Okay, and I want to show you just an example of a number line. A number line is a line that has numbers that are consecutive or that go in order. So the smallest number over here would be on the left and then it, you would count up and the biggest number would be on the right over here. And you can start on any number. You could start on zero, but a number line could start anywhere. So for example, let's say, let's do, um, I don't know, let's do 25. So 25, 26, 27, 28, okay, and 29. Let's say we end right here. So this is an example of a number line. It could start on zero or it could start anywhere, but you count up with each line represents a number, okay? And these are great for helping us figure out problems like this. Another thing we could do is just an addition problem or a subtraction problem, okay? And we can also do this to help us find out the answer. Um, so like for example, this is 33. I could write out 33 plus one Okay, and that would give us this number, the one to the right, or to subtract, I could write 33 minus 1 to give us this answer, the one on the left. Okay, so let's do this. Let's use both a number line and an addition and subtraction problem to give us the answers over here, and then you can decide which one you like best. But let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we've got 33 plus one, that's gonna give us the one to the right, because we're adding, so we move right. So 33 plus one, what is the answer? Three plus one is four, and then we just bring the three down, so that gives us 34. That is this answer right here to our right. When we add, we go right, okay? So let's find 34, we've got it right over here. So put our check right there, that's what the directions say, check the correct answer. And then over here, we need to find which number is smaller, and that's subtracting so we're going to subtract 33 minus 1 because we're just going one down we don't need to know anymore so 33 minus 1 is what we've got 33 minus 1 is 2 and then bring the 3 down so that is 32 so that's our answer right here is 32 now let's make a number line too that we could use. I gave you an example of another number line, but let's use a number line like this. We'll put 33 in the middle, and then we've got 34, and then 35, okay? And then this way, what would be less than that? 33, 32, 31, okay? So here's an example of a number line. So if we've got 33, then if we want one more than 33, we're gonna jump one time. We're still kind of adding one. It's kind of the same thing as I did over here, but I've got a number line. So 33, 34, that gave us 34. Over this way, I'm gonna jump one down, and this is gonna give us what number right here? 32, right? And that's what we put. So we checked it both ways to see that that was correct, okay? So let's do the next problem. Let's do 51 and let's write out a number line. And if I started on 51, I wouldn't be able to find out what comes next. So let's think of a number smaller than 51, but kind of close to 51. So I want you to think what would be a number. Could we do like, let's do um, 49, okay? So 49, 50, 51, there's our number. 
52, 53. We could keep going, but I'm gonna stop right there, okay? So here's our number, we've got 51. What we're trying to do is find the next number, so I'm gonna jump just one, which gives us what number? 52. So right here, I'm gonna check 52. The next one, we need to jump down. We need to go down from that number. So 51, I'm gonna jump one down, which gives us 50, right? So oh, there it is, check 50 right over there, okay? Great job. Um, we could also do an addition or subtraction on this one and just kind of double check, but I like the number line. We checked it, we did it, we know it's right. So now we're gonna go on to the next one, okay? The next one is 67, okay? And actually, let's do an addition and subtraction problem. So addition problem to go right, so let's do that one first. 67 plus, we just want one more than that. So 67 plus one, Let's add this up, seven plus one is eight, and then just bring down the six. So we've got 68 for this one, do you see it? There it is, 68, okay? And then this one right here, a little cake with the cherry on top, how much is this one? It's one down, so we take 67 minus one, okay? So what's seven minus one? That's six, right? And then we bring the six down, we've got 66. So do we see it? Yep, it's right here, 66, okay? Now we've got the last one, which is 100. And this one's kind of tricky, 100. Um, what do you wanna do? Let's, you know what, how about we do this? How about, because it's a tricky one, 100, let's check it two ways, okay? So let's first, let's do a number line. And remember, the 100, or the number that we're trying to find, 100, needs to be somewhere kind of in the middle, okay? So maybe like 100. Think about maybe what would come before that. So before 100, we've got 99, 98, okay? And then coming up from 100, we've got 101, 102, 103, okay? So there's our number line. And if you don't remember what all these numbers are, you can always look it up. You can find a number line either like around the classroom or maybe you could look it up online. But a number line is a great system to help you figure this out. Um, and then let's also, before we even find out the answer, let's set up our next problem. Let's set up our addition and subtraction problem. So 100, We've got three places now, so make sure you line everything up. Plus one, 100 plus one. And then the next one is 100 minus one, okay? And we're gonna find out the answer this way. So let's start up on our number line, okay? We've got 100, so we're gonna start right there. And then we're gonna go up one spot. So we're gonna jump one. And now we've got what number? We've got 101. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna do this, 101. And then over here, we're gonna jump down one spot, okay? So I'm gonna come over here and I've got the number 99. So we're gonna find that one right here, 99. And I'm gonna put a check right there. Also, because this is a hard one, because it's three place values, let's just double check and see if we get the same answer down here. So here's an addition problem. That's gonna give us this answer if we do it correctly. So let's add this up. We've got 100 plus one. Well, one plus zero is one. Zero plus nothing, we're just gonna bring that down, zero. And then again, one plus nothing, just bring it down. And this gives us 101, which is the same answer that we got before. So awesome job. The next one is 100 minus one, okay? So we're gonna take zero minus one. Can we do that? Well, no, we can't do that, so we're gonna need to borrow, aren't we? So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna make this a 10. And so what do we have to do with this? Well, we have to make it a what? We have to make it a nine, okay? And we have to take this away from this, okay? So we don't have anything here. So this leaves us with nothing, all right? So let's do this. We've got 10 minus one is nine, okay? And then nine minus nothing, well, we're just gonna bring that on down, is nine. So that gives us the answer 99. That's the same thing we got with this one and also down here. So we, knew, and we know that we did it correctly with an addition and subtraction problem as well to help us double check, okay? So great job today on your counting and going up and going below the number. So remember, we could use a number line or an addition and subtraction problem to help give us that answer. So great job today.
Monday. I love it. See you again next time. Bye-bye. Like us and subscribe to our channel. Find links to our apps and comments below.